Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to check whether the given number is a power of 4 or not. Let's say the user has given a number like 64 and uh, we need to write a Java program to check whether this given number is a power of 4 or not. When can we say that whether a given number is a power of 4 for that? Let's see. 4 power 1. What is 4 power 1 guys? Only one time 4. 4 power 1 is 4. So 64 equal to 4, not matching. That's fine. Let's go with the next one. 4 power 2. 4 power 2. That is 4 into 4. 4 into 4 is 16, guys. 4 for the 16. 16 equal to 64? No. So 4 power 2 is also not working. What about 4 power 3? 4 into 4 into 4. That is nothing but 4 for the 16, 16 for the 64. You see 64 is matching with this given number. That means the 64 number is a power of 4. 64 is a power of 4. Now we need to write a Java program to check whether the given number is a power of 4 or not. It can be power of 1, power of, I mean 4 power 1, 4 power 2, 4 power 3 or anything. 4 power x. But the given number should be 4 power x. How to check that using the Java program? Let me show you practically now. First of all, what we can do is we can intake the this kind of number, okay? The number that need to be checked whether that is a power of four or not. I want to intake that from the user. How to do that? For that, we need to create an object for the scanner class case. Scanner class will allow you to intake the inputs from the user into the program while running the this particular Java program while running the program. If you want to collect some inputs from the user, you need to create an object for the scanner class like this and import the scanner from java.util. And also this constructor cannot be empty provide system dot in. Next thing is we need to ask the user to enter. We need to ask the user to enter any number, enter any number. By looking at this particular text in the output, user will try to give some number guys. Let's say user is trying to enter a number like 64. And we need to collect this or intake this number into our Java code. How to do that? For that we need to use a scanner object, which will intake the inputs from the user. So which type of input this is integer kind of input. So there is a predefined method known as next int. The scanner class has a next int kind of method which can intake inputs from the user. In the form of integer values, we can, this particular method will intake the inputs. So next int will capture this number given by the user and store into a variable. We can store that into a variable case after capturing. Let's say I will call that variable as num and I'll create this uh, local variable, done. Now, after you intake the inputs from the user and store into a particular variable, you can simply close the scanner object like this, done. Now let's write the logic for checking whether the given number is a power of four or not. How to write the logic? So blindly follow this guys, okay? Initially I'll set Boolean power is equal to false, okay? If power is false, that means the given number is not a power of four. If the power status is false, then at the end of the program, I'm going to print that the given number is not a power of four. But if in case during this logic, if the given number is found that is a power of four, we'll change this uh, power Boolean status to true case. Okay, that's the main intention why I'm creating Boolean power is equal to false. Initially, I'm setting this as false and during the logic, it may change to true if the given number is a power of four. So like that guys. Now, while the given number is greater than zero, like this we have to write the logic guys. This is exact logic. While number is greater than zero, then this while loop should iterate. The while loop should iterate until the number is greater than, okay? So this while loop will iterate until the number is kind of greater than zero only, okay? So when the number is greater than zero, this while loop will keep on iterating. That's what I mean to say. So fine. Now inside this while loop, while the given number is greater than zero, it will go inside the while loop and here we'll calculate the reminder guys. Reminder we are calculating by dividing this number by four guys. When you divide this number by four, what is the reminder you are getting? For that reason, we are putting the reminder here. In reminder is equal to number percentile four. Let's say here, if, if you give the number as 64 and percentile 4, what is the reminder you will get? You need to divide this 64 by 4. 4 16 is 64, guys. 
four six in the sixty four. So you'll get the remainder as zero. You'll get the remainder as zero, guys. So here is the logic. If this remainder is not equal to zero, okay. If you get the remainder as zero, that's fine, guys. But if the remainder is not coming as zero in any case, in any of the given number, if the remainder is not coming as zero, then we have to simply break, guys. When you break, what will happen? By default, this number will be treated as a not a power of four because by default power is set to false, right? When you come out of this while loop, power will be still false. So at the end of the program, you will be printing that the given number is not a power of four. So, whenever you divide the given number by four, you should get the remainder zero, guys. Then only that number is going to become a power of four. Otherwise, it's not. That's the main logic, guys. Now, after checking whether you are getting the remainder as zero or not, if you get the remainder zero, we can continue the while loop. If you don't get the remainder as zero, then we'll go to the, we'll break the while loop and simply print this number is not a power of four. Okay, like that. So we will continue this while loop until the remainder is zero until the remainder is coming as zero when you divide by four. Now here already 64 divided by four is giving the remainder zero. That's fine. We'll continue because this block will not be executed and the while loop will not break. So here we'll write number is equal to number divided by four here. So what will be the number is 64 guys. 64 divided by four is what? 64 divided by four is 16 guys. So you'll get the result as 16. The new number will become 16. Again, the while loop will be iterated where 16 greater than zero, true or false. Yes, true, we'll go inside. Again, we'll calculate the remainder. This time the number is 16, guys. 16 percentile four, four for the 16. Reminder, you'll get as zero. Is reminder equal to zero? Not equal to zero, but reminder is zero, guys. So this condition will fail and will not uh, break the while loop. So again, this condition, this uh, step will come where 16 divided by four, it will become 16 by four is four for the 16. So four is the result. The new number is four. Now four greater than zero, again true. Again, we'll check the remainder guys, number percent L4, four percent L4, four ones are four, you'll get the remainder as zero again. That's fine. Again, this condition will not be executed. This condition will become false and this break will not happen. Now again, number is equal to number divided by four. Four divided by four is four ones are four. So one is the result. This number will become one. Here we'll write the logic. If during the iterations, if the number becomes one, okay, the number becomes one, then simply say system dot out dot println. Okay, simply say system dot out dot println. Given number is a power of four. If you continuously divide this number by four until this remainder is keeping on zero and if you are dividing this number by four, when you get the remind, uh, when you get the result as one, when you divide it by four, then you can treat that the given number is a power of four guys. And here, what we'll do is we'll set this uh, power status to true now, okay? Power is equal to true. And we'll break the while loop because we found that the given number is a power of four. So no need to continue the while loop. So simply we'll break the while loop. And uh, fine, now, what if the given number is not a power of four, four? Okay, what if the given number is not a power of four? Let's say 20, let's check the number 20 guys. So here, 20 greater than zero, true. 20 percentile four, four, five 20. Remainder is coming as zero, that's fine. So this condition will not be verified. So number is equal to number by four, that is 20 by four. 20 by four is four, five 20, the result is five, cool. Is number is equal to one? No. So this this will all this will also not get executed. So again, number greater than zero. Yes, five is greater than zero. Five percentile four. What you are getting the remainder, guys? Four ones are four. Five percentile four, you'll get the remainder as one, guys. If you get the remainder as one, here remainder is not equal to zero, condition is getting true. So this will break the while loop. That means the given number 20 is a not a power of four. So here you will write the logic if not of not of power. Okay. That means if the power is false, this condition will become true. And we'll print saying system dot out dot print ln given number is a power of is not a power of is not a power of four. Like this we have to write the logic. 
now this program will work seamlessly guys whatever the number you give it will this number uh, this program will check whether the given number is a power of 4 or not simply okay let's see what will happen run this code we'll ask the user to enter any number let's say the user is giving some 64 4 for the 16 16 for the 64 right now we should be it it should print given number is a power of 4 let's see yes given number is a power of 4 let me run it again this time i will give a number like 25 is 25 a power of 4 no 4 for the 16 16 for the 64 there is no way that 25 is a power of 4 enter is not a power of 4 what about 20 yes 20 is also not a power of 4 cool what about 16 let's give a number 16 16 is a power of 4 4 for the 16 fine what about 4 4 is also a power of 4 4 ones are 4 so 4 is a power of 4 what about 8 8 is not a power of 4 4 for the 4 ones are 4 4 for the 16 so 8 is not a power of 4 so this program is working perfectly fine guys so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to check whether the given number is a power of 4 or not so that's it guys thank you bye